here, we're going to check out the Pure Arts boot to check out some absolutely amazing and ridiculously expensive things. Uh, so stand by as we take you through some really fascinating pieces. All right, you can see this great flash prop replica of his cowl here and this amazing light up function to it as well. Uh, with all these Pure Arts things, they have quite a bit of likeness to them, uh, including this T-1000 over here. And look at that hole, just fantastic. Uh, they have premium features, premium likeness, premium deco, premium price point. <laughs> so expect these to cost several hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Uh, another great one to see over here is the Sauron. Sauron's made a lot of appearances. We've shown you him at the Iron Studios booth as well. This one has glowing features in the base. And then I'll get to the helmet itself. And uh, it absolutely dominates the landscape here. Uh, perfect timing on that flame. And then you can see the Eye of Sauron actually hidden inside here. Um, it has the eyeball. I don't know if you guys can see it. Here it is uh, with the reflection. But so it's the using the tower display as a base. And it even has the eye hidden within it. Uh, over here we have uh, Lady Domitresque over here with her claw out. In this sort of figured version of the character. Looking absolutely amazing. Again, premium deco, so we got a mixed medium of goods on this one. And this will be featuring the uh, uh, alternate hand as well, but it has uh, cloth in addition to the other mediums they're working on with it. Uh, we have a little robot over here. I'm not sure where he's from, but uh, <laughs> pretty amazing here <laughs> in the deco. This must be from some video game I am not tracking. Uh, but over here we have the Cyberpunk series, uh, Johnny Silverhand. And he comes with this great um, sort of digital backboard behind him. So what a nice piece to have with a digital backboard that is moving. And then you have light effects here on the bottom. And you have plenty of uh, just world building aspects to it. Switching over here, we have a whole mixture of things, including uh, Elden Ring. We have that... that Super tough boss, everyone loves there. Uh, we have SpongeBob with a lot of dynamic backgrounds to it as well. We have characters from the world of DC. Uh, so we have Batman and Superman and just a whole variety of other characters as well. Uh, everything featuring some um, interesting little elements to it like light up components on the bases and on the bodies. And then just some crazy likeness, like this penguin from uh, the Danny DeVito Batman. Uh, I forget, was it 91? Or uh, I, I'm not quite sure the year that came out. 90 or 91, Batman Returns. Uh, but look at that. I mean, uh, just astounding likeness here. And then, of course, that classic Michael Keaton, Batman Cow, uh, that you get as well. And the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman uh, sewn together leathers there with the whip around the base. I mean, even the, you got the stitching down. Uh, that's real stitching, if you can see that. That is just crazy. Uh, just crazy. Uh, next to that, we get a lot more cyberpunk. Uh, so a whole assortment of characters and some more from Elden Ring as well. And wrapping up, we have Smooth Criminal himself over here, leaning on this base with this great jukebox in the background with a lot of detail, a lot of color, and some like, dynamic lighting elements to it. Over on this side, we have another character assortment uh, from Dark Souls and you can see some really great uh, light effects going on here on the swords including this flaming sword and then these light up elements here as well in the body and just great detail on the wings and everything here and last but not least we'll be checking out Assassin's Creed so we have another great display here uh, with the titular assassin we have some flame effects coming up on the side of this little dome he's on. You can see that retractable blade there in his arm. A lot of great detail on this. Uh, looks like he's just hopping right out of the game. So this is uh, Altair, uh, the original assassin from the first game. Made a bunch of appearances in other games as well. But uh, just really, really cool to be able to, to see these components and uh, this full lighting effect. And that wraps us for our look here at Pure Arts. I uh, hope you guys get to see some really awesome things. Uh, maybe not everyone will be picking these up, but it's still cool to know that they're out there. And if you wanted to treat yourself, this is something you could do for your fandom. So that's all for this time. Like, subscribe, and follow. And we'll see you guys at the next booth.